Hello, good afternoon. It's April 2nd, 2021. March Madness, we're down to the final four. March Madness has been a little bit of a bummer for me, not going to lie. My teams were eliminated early or didn't get to participate at all, in the case of UofL. So, uh, just for fun, I thought I'd geek out a little bit and uh, take a look at something I purchased for myself. I believe I bought these last Father's Day, so almost three quarters of a year ago. I uh, bought some of these off on eBay. Uh, uh, Marvel stickers. These particular ones are from the 1976 set, um, which I don't have as many. I collected them when they came out in 1975. For some reason, I thought they were, it was 74, 75, but it was probably just 70, uh, 75. Um, my good friend from Lure Elementary, Tori Dees and I, we ran into him at, at the convenience store up there on Fagan, Bish, Fagan Bush and Bond Mill. Saw those riding our bikes uh, one day and we bought a bunch. And I think my good friend, longtime friend, Steve Mazer and I also collected them, you know. Um, and just a bunch of Marvel superheroes. And here's the, the 74. Five set the first set which I collected more actively for whatever reason and memory serves I don't know if this is accurate we'll find out here in a minute but I think you usually got five stickers of superheroes and then you got a checklist which was a puzzle piece to a, a famous comic book and on the back had a checklist of who all was in that series and the, the 75 set it was a um, comic book of Fantastic Four 100 uh let me see that yeah fantastic four 100 and um i have most of those i'm missing a few of the stickers and i think i'm only missing one of the puzzle piece but that was the original set that was the 75 set uh what i purchased on ebay a while back was three unopened packs from 1976 the second series set and i thought today i just open them up anybody who's a geek and nerd like me and interested in this interested in this kind of stuff you can watch this video as i open these you can tell they're unopened packs um and we'll see who we get just uh, i've got my list here of who i'm needing from the 76 set and like i said for whatever reason i don't remember it even though it's more recent um Apparently, I didn't buy as many. Oh, and in the 76 set, here, you see, it, these are these. Uh, it had a, uh, the puzzle was a puzzle of Conan number one. And, wow, I've got a, I've got a bunch of that very first puzzle piece, it looks like, and I'm missing most. Um, flipping through this set here, I, like I said, I need a bunch of the stickers. Uh, so... I need a Hulk, Doctor Strange, Thing, Howard the Duck, Daredevil, Captain America, Spider-Man. A whole list of them. Ooh, even Doctor Doom. I thought I had Doctor Doom. Maybe that was in the other set. Some of these are um, repeats. It's not the exact same picture. Oh, and they have the person saying something somewhat humorous. Like, here's Warlock, not one of my favorite superheroes. And he's doing some kind of like comedian stance. And he's saying, stop me if you've heard this before. <laughs> hilarious right uh, but, I mean it's all in good fun and they're saying little silly things so when the sets repeated they they do have different pictures it's not the same picture from the previous year again it's a it's a different one so they're they're they're, they're cool but I don't don't know why but I don't seem to have as many from the second set and that's what these are <clears throat> I am uh, Hoping for a, for a successful thing for me would be the car, uh, sticker of The Vision, as my students all <clears throat> are fully aware of The Vision as my favorite male superhero of all time. Not because of this new Avengers movies or the WandaVision thing. I've been a fan of The Vision since I was about eight or nine years old when I got my first Avengers comic. He was mostly green, my favorite color. He was cool. He was married to one of the really uh, attractive other Avengers, the Scarlet Witch, which, 
no pun intended, I'm a little disappointed, and Marvel is probably regretting this decision to this day. There is no Scarlet Witch sticker, and I was mad when I opened that first pack and found that checklist, and I ran my finger down, and um, female superheroes are always grossly uh, underrepresented over the years. They're doing a little better about it more recently. Every, every, every set has a few female superheroes in it. Um, but the Scarlet Witch, uh, absent from that. Um, probably the, my favorite superhero from the second set is Red Sonja. Uh, and oddly enough, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this on the back, but on the bottom of the first or the pack on the bottom of this one I bought off of eBay. You can tell by looking at it that the, that last card right there, you probably can't see this in the camera, but you can tell it is the Red Sonia sticker. So that's cool. Uh, I already I have one already, but that's cool. And what's interesting to me is I don't remember as a kid, maybe we could, I don't remember, but I didn't really remember being able to see what that bottom card was. Because I know that would have influenced which packs we picked uh, when we were buying cards. So, we got Red Sonia right there right off the bat. Um, Red Sonia, not only is she um, very popular now, she's been reinvented, uh, I should say, in the last decade and a half. Marvel Comics got tired of her after a while. There was not a lot they... Apparently didn't feel like there was a lot they could do with her. She could hang out with Conan, and every so often she'd get transported into um, modern day or whatever. But since she's from the old, you know, they call it the Hibernian age or whatever, she really can't mix with other superheroes that well other than some kind of elaborate transportation thing. So, so Marvel kind of got rid of her back in 86 or so, I think it was. And then this new comic... A company called Dynamite Comic picked her up in about 2005, 2006, and they've run with it and had her do all kinds of stuff, revamped her, um, kind of kept the that same look that um, was made famous by one of my favorite comic artists, Frank Thorne. He's the one who really put her on the map back in the 70s, drawing her in what people mistakenly call a chainmail bikini. Um, Anybody who's played Dungeons and Dragons or just knows Armor 101, it's obviously not a chainmail bikini. It's a scale mail bikini. And a chainmail bikini would just be ridiculous anyway. I mean, so uh, we got that. So right off the bat, we're going to get a Red Sonya out of this deal. Um, now, interesting thing, sometimes the bottom card, we used to call it a gum back but it might actually be a wax back. Sometimes that last card or first card, the one touching the gum or the one touching the wrapper would have like a film on it. So we didn't really like that card that much. And maybe that's what's happened on this one. So we're going to go ahead and open this up. I know some of y'all are saying, man, get on with this Metcalf. So I'm going to open these up and we'll start off with that one. And when I pull these apart, I guess I'm going to be able to see the bottom card in each of the three packs. I did buy three packs. It was a really good deal. Like I said, you don't. These are kind of hard to find sealed anymore. Uh, you can pretty much buy any of the cards. None, none of them are super valuable. Like, like Thor is great or something like that. There's not really one that seems to be more rare than the others. You can pretty much get all of them from anywhere from like two fifty to four bucks a piece. So this was a pretty good deal. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I got a pretty decent deal on it. Um, and I think I had an eBay coupon or something, so I got a, went ahead and splurged. But the the guy put a, together a nice little the the three different packs: the Captain America, the Hulk, and the Spider Man. So he saved one of each and put them all together in a nice little package here for me. So we're just gonna work our way from the bottom, and that was the Spider Man pack, and that's the one that's got Red Sonya on the back. So I'm gonna carefully open this and. and Remember, to make me happy, I'm looking for the vision. That's the one I don't have. Howard the Duck would be cool. He's kind of one of my least favorite, quote-unquote, superheroes. Sergeant Fury would be cool. Punisher. 
yeah, he'd be cool to have him too. So those are some of the ones I'm looking for. And again, uh, oh wow, this popped off pretty easily, not having to use any special tools and really not too much of a film on Red Sonia here. So I'll pop this out. Don't want to tear anything. Yeah, it's coming up. That's pretty good. And there she is in all her scale mail bikini glory there. And let's see, the second card is a Captain America. And that's one I do need as well, need as well. So already right off the bat. So there's one, two. Oh, we got Deathlock, one of those weird kind of guys. I got a few Deathlock comic books, but not a big fan. And is he one I needed? Don't really. No, I think I got that one. And so, oh, that might be it. It might be three cards and a checklist card. Yep, that's what it is. So you get three stickers and a checklist piece. Do I need that checklist piece? Uh, actually, I did not need that checklist piece. I got that one. So, cool. so other than getting a duplicate of Red Sonia and a, getting a Captain America, that pack was not great. So we'll move on to the next one. Oh, oh my goodness. Mmm. Mmm. Here's this thing right here. Golly, this is what it was all about. These baseball cards used to be called bubblegum cards because supposedly the gum was the, uh, I guess it was the draw or whatever, and then the cards were just the bonus. Um, I've been told you're not supposed to eat this. Uh, it wasn't great back in the day. And this is from literally from, what did I say, 76, 24, 45-year-old gum. I'm not going to like you probably, again, you probably can't see this on the camera, but it does have a, a suspicious brown spot right here. And the color is definitely not as pink as I remember it from back in the day. But uh, I don't really, sm doesn't even have that uh, old bubblegum card smell anymore either. I was hoping it would smell like 1976, but I'm not going to lie to you. It smells like a whole bunch of nothing. So uh, there it is, that gum from the past. Mm. Moving on to the second pack, maybe we'll have better luck with Hulk here. And looking at the second pack, trying to look through that label there, I don't recognize this card as much. You know what? It might be Tigra. Tigra, I don't know how you say it. She was an Avenger too, which makes her cool in her own right, but wasn't a big fan of hers as well, but she was one of the Avengers back in the day, so we'll give her props. Could be Ghost Rider too, let me see. No, I was right the first guess. It is Tigra. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. So, is she one I need? Uh, yes, I do need Tigra. So, bonus there. Oop. And as we're... Ooh, this piece of gum has suffered over the last 45 years. Oops. And part of it seems to be gone. Maybe it's stuck to that last card. Yep. It has broken into two pieces. This one has much more brown spots on it. So I was going to go all <laughs> one of my favorite <laughs> uh, internet videos. I was going to go all <laughs> scream cord. <laughs> Let's go <laughs> and maybe take a bite. But after looking at the these, no, I'm not going to do that. I was telling myself when I thinking about opening these I was like how sick could this possibly make someone by eating one piece of what did I say 45 45 year old gum but looking at these this one has many, much more suspicious brown oh yeah you can see it there it does have more suspicious brown spots on this piece so yeah I don't think I will try eating it let's go back to the stickers <laughs> so like i said we got tigra in this batch <clears throat> who else we got oh so it looks like the gum residue on these 
is affecting the checklist and not the stickers, which is probably a good thing. Uh, so it is messing with the, you can, I don't know if you can see that residue there, some residue on that back of that checklist thing. So we got Tigra and she's saying uh, cat food for dinner again. So ba blam, uh, there's that. And then the second card makes sense in a Hulk pack. I got a Hulk sticker, which it is saying on my magical list here. I do need that. So we are two for two in this pack. Looking pretty good. Still hoping for the vision. Maybe a Howard the Duck. Conan. I don't have Conan. One of my favorite heroes. I'm a big fan of his. He's He just makes me laugh sometimes. And we get Galactus. I do believe I have Galactus. That looks familiar. Uh, yeah, it looks like I have Galactus. So two out of three is Meatloaf would say isn't bad. Uh, as for the checklist piece, I got the upper right-hand corner, which I do need. I did need the op upper right-hand corner. And you see that's the end of Conan the Barbarian. So cool. So two stickers and one puzzle piece that I needed. That's that's a we'll call that a successful pack, and that brings us to Cap, leader of the Avengers for most of the time. Uh, and looking at the back of his, wow, it's tough to see. You know what? I think I think I can see the the muzzle flash of Sergeant Fury's probably machine gun. So I'm thinking that card on the bottom is um, is uh, Sergeant Fury, which I do believe is one I do need. Yep, Sergeant Fury. So it'd be awesome to have, a, oh my goodness. Okay, so we just, we figured out that there's three stickers and a, and, a, and a puzzle piece in there. The ultimate pack would be, we know we got Sergeant Fury I'm hoping for Vision and Conan. Conan, some people say Conan. That's what I'm going for. So we're going to gently open Captain America. Going to save the wrappers. They're 45 years old. Uh, some people collect them. I notice they're on eBay occasionally. So I'm going to gently open that. Yep, and I was right. That is the muzzle flash from Sergeant Fury's... Looks like a Thompson submachine gun. Probably. And he's firing, and it looks like he's brandishing a grenade in his other hand, and he is saying, war makes me fighting mad. It feels like the gum is also broken into several pieces in this one. Yep, three pieces. So there he is, Sergeant Fury. Uh, so that's another plus. Uh, still hoping for the vision. Again, fingers crossed. Uh, be nice to get a vision the gum broken three pieces Ooh, it's got this piece has a nice dark brown spot on it so yep i don't think i will be eating these we'll brush that over to the side can this pack Ooh, this pack suffered a little yeah his sticker a little a little scuffing right down there i don't know if you can see that it's like yeah all right, so there's Sergeant Fury, and the second card is Iceman. Not my favorite superhero, my favorite basketball player of all time, George Gervin, the Iceman. Let's see on my list. I, I don't know if I have him or not. Uh, looks like I must have him, so kind of a dud there. And here we go, moment of truth. I'm going to let you all witness it. This is the last sticker. Last shot at, I hope I'm fingers crossed for Vision or Conan. We'll see. Here we go. It's Dr. Doom. Oh, wow. Okay. And he would have been on my list of ones I really wanted. What's Dr. Doom saying, by the way? Anyone out there have a can opener? Okay. Yeah, his metal suit is kind of rough. So, okay. I'll take that. That's a, that's a good piece. Oh, my goodness. And then the... the Puzzle piece is that top left-hand corner, which I now, I believe that makes five of those. Wow, my four I've already got, and now another one. So anybody out there in the looking for a top left-hand corner of the Conan puzzle, come to, you know, hit me up. I got plenty. I got them to spare, as we say. All right, so there you go, and. A little geek out for me. I hope you enjoyed it.
watching a 45, I believe these came out in the spring and possibly the summer of 76. So we're talking 24 plus 21. We're talking, if, if it's in 45 years, it's well over 44, almost 45 years old cards here. And hope you enjoyed that little blast into the past. I got a few cards out of the deal that I needed. Stickers, I should say. So, uh, look, probably look for some more on eBay. They, they're getting more expensive and they're getting more rare. But uh, still love that feel of opening a pack. And hope you enjoyed this. If you didn't, oh well. Get to see some 45-year-old cards getting opened up for the first time. Um, I'll talk to you soon. Hope everybody's well. Hope your team wins in the big tournament tomorrow. Unless your team's Gonzaga. Can't stand. Not ready for Gonzaga to be a, another undefeated season team. Uh, so me pulling for those Baylor Bears. My favorite Baptist school is still in it. So I, got, I guess I got that going for me. Otherwise, uh, boiler up and... See you soon.